As a lot of you seem to have liked my last food haul, I thought to myself, why not show you another one? Today's food haul is my personal approach to a healthy and well-balanced diet. When I say well-balanced diet, I mean a balance between food for your body and food for your soul. I personally divide my food into three categories, healthy unprocessed foods, healthy processed foods, and unhealthy processed foods. But I'd say, let's start with the healthy and unprocessed food category. So first, I always tell you to eat your cruciferous vegetables. So of course we have to start with them, Brussels sprouts. I like to grill them usually in a contact grill. And then second, I always tell you to eat your berries. So here are some raspberries and also a small packet of blueberries, very cheap again, one euro. Then I bought some bananas. Unfortunately, they are still green, so not um, perfectly ripe. I still have to wait a few days, but I think I'm gonna lie them, uh, place them next to apples in a brown bag. Then they will ripen faster. And I've got some beautiful tomatoes. They look so beautiful today. So let's put them there. And a salad, salad was really expensive today, but I always buy the salad, which is still in the soil, as it will stay longer, as it will stay fresh for longer then. So I really like that one. This cost me two euros. And I bought a cucumber, nice organic cucumber, and two lemons. We usually have only have them to make ourselves lemon water. We just cut them in half, then squeeze them into our water and put them back into the fridge. Then um, I bought some carrots. I usually have them steamed before I have my main meal, but I think this week I will need them for a cold slaw as I want to make myself a, or ourselves a burger. I'm gonna make it with cabbage. So very, very easy recipe. You take yourself a little bit of bell pepper, what's it here? You can fry the bell pepper if you want, a little bit of cabbage, a few cucumbers, a little bit of tomato puree, then cashew butter, and maybe a little bit of vinegar sweetener, and you've got a perfectly tasty cold slaw. I personally don't like it warm, so I'm gonna, I don't like it cold, so I'm gonna have it warm. Then I bought a chili, because Vicky likes it hot, and I also sometimes. Then I bought two avocados, which are, well, more or less perfectly ripe. And I, let's place them here. And I bought, bought two kiwis. I don't know where the other one is. And an apple was very expensive today, three euros for a kilogram. And I bought two mangoes. They were actually quite cheap. These are perfectly ripe. I'm gonna make myself a mango soy yogurt smoothie with this. So basically cashew butter, mango, a little bit of soy yogurt, maybe a little bit of soy milk to make it a little bit more fluid. And then I've got a perfectly delicious smoothie. I might also add a little bit of protein powder, but I'm not sure yet. And then mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I need them for meatballs. Um, I made a really, really tasty vegan meatball recipe with tofu and mushrooms and and mustard and tomato puree, really delicious. So I need them there for. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make us the meatballs today, actually. Then here another two bell peppers. Let's place them there. And I'm not gonna place them on the table, but a huge packet of oranges. I think two kilograms. And I smelled them in the shop already, without a mask of of course. And they smell. They smell so ripe, so I think they're going to be perfect. And they only cost me two euros, which is actually really, really cheap. They're going to last for the entire week, even for Vicky and me. So this was the healthy unprocessed category. Now let's go to the healthy processed category. So first, as I'm going to make us um, a peanut butter smoothie and energy balls, I bought cacao powder. I always buy um, rather expensive cacao powder because I always know it's fair trade and it's organic and the farmers in South America, they get well paid and well treated. This cost me two euros fifty for 100, I think the packet is already in the bin for 120 grams, something like that. But you also can um, you also can taste the difference. So yeah, I always buy them in organic supermarkets. Then I bought these two uh, snacks, these two bars. These are like chocolate bars from DM, which is a grocery store here in Germany. And they're actually quite healthy. They contain um, almonds, roasted almonds, then hazelnuts, rice syrup, then a little bit of chocolate, dark chocolate, of course. Of course, a little bit of sugar, sunflower oil, sea salt, and cacao powder. 
and a little bit of oat uh, and oat flour, uh, wheat flour, sorry. So they're quite healthy. They've got nine grams of fiber, which is a lot. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna cut them into like small chunks and then place them in a small thingy and we can have them as a dessert. Then I haven't bought it for a very, very long time and I can't wait to taste it again, guys. Cashew butter. Cashew butter is really expensive, it costs six euros fifty, but I think cashew butter is the, the best nuts butter. Organic cashew butter from Alnatura. This is a brand here in Germany, an organic brand here in Germany. Um, I love to have it in, in smoothie, smoothies. I also love to have it on bread. This is so tasty. Try having whole wheat bread, cashew butter, and then marinated tofu. Just grill your tofu, smoked tofu, if you can find it with soy sauce and honey, equal the amount, and then maybe a little bit of avocado. That's really, really heaven. So I can't wait to taste it. I'm so glad that I've bought this again. And then I bought some amaranth which I'm going to use for energy balls. I think this isn't such a common food, especially not in the US and UK. Here in Germany, it's, well, it's not popular, but people start eating it more and more. Then I bought tomato puree, not that interesting. Then beans, this is a typical example, typical example for healthy processed foods, because of course these beans are processed, they are not raw. You can buy them raw, this is a lot cheaper and um, a lot healthier because you don't have to add salt but for convenience purposes i like to buy them in a tin already just make sure that they don't have any sugar kidney beans very very often have added sugar but if you buy them organic they are usually sugar free just as these ones then i bought tofu of course this is organic tofu which i'm immediately going to transfer to the fridge and by the way i forgot some foods in the healthy unprocessed food category such as spinach for smoothies strawberries for smoothies and a packet of wild berries for smoothies and that's it and i also bought some herbs somewhere but i can't find them at the moment yes then I bought some wheat flour because I'm going to make ourselves some wraps and on Friday we will have pizza, homemade pizza. Then I bought a soy yogurt, let's put it here, a soy yogurt, plain without any sugar for the smoothies and Vicky also sometimes like to, likes to have soy yogurt with berries, a few nuts and um, yeah, that's it basically. Then um, whole wheat pasta, which I already well, actually, this is linguine and this is the whole wheat pasta. You put the whole wheat pasta in here already and then sift tomatoes and hummus. If you live in Germany, the hummus from Obela, Hummus Classic, is the absolute best hummus you can find. How can you tell? Just look at the fiber. It's got 10 grams of fiber, which is phenomenal. And the first three ingredients are chickpeas, uh, uh, sesame uh, butter, tahini, tahini, and um, rapeseed oil, which is more or less perfect. Olive oil would be maybe even better, but a lot of hummuses they have uh, chickpeas, they have sunflower oil, a lot of salt, a lot of sugar, and this one is perfect. Eight gram of of, of protein. Um, if I compare this to that one, I actually bought two to show you the comparison. This one is also quite okay, actually, which is from Edeka, is a German supermarket here in, Ger in yeah, German supermarket in Germany. This has only I can't even see the fiber, which is always not that of a good sign, and it has two grams less protein and a little bit more salt. And this one has 17 grams of fat and this one has 30 grams of fat. Of course, this also could be healthy fats from tahini but it isn't as tahini is only the fourth ingredient and here is the third ingredient. So Obela is the absolute best hummus and the chickpea um, amount in your hummus should be, should be at least 60%. This is my opinion. Then I bought some onions. I bought red onions, which of course also belong to the healthy and processed food category. And then I bought some, um, how do you call that in English? The soap, which you wash, which you use for your dish dishes. Um, dish soap? Don't know. And this is uh, organic and fair and was quite expensive, but I don't know, I just wanted to try it. And it has a cucumber 
mint flavor, which I can't smell at the moment. But um, yeah, if you're from Germany, check it out at DM. It's from the brand Sepia. Sounds a little bit Dutch. So, and now let's come to the last category, healthy unprocessed foods, uh, unhealthy processed foods, sorry. At first, burger buns, as we want to make ourselves a burger on the weekend. Sometimes we also make the buns ourselves or we use whole wheat bread. But in this case, we wanted to have normal burger, bun burger buns. These are a little bit darker, so they have a little bit more of an intense bitter taste. The burger we will make, as I said, will be with the cold slaw. Then we're gonna grill some tofu, and we're gonna make a crunchy tofu with cornflakes, maybe a little bit of avocado, cardo, salad, and cucumber. That's gonna be delicious. Um, Vicky has never tasted it before, so I can't wait to make it for her. Then toast. Well, toast actually, this toast actually isn't that unhealthy because it's whole wheat toast and it also has six grams of fiber, which is okay. I mean, it's not, of course, it's nothing compared to whole wheat bread, especially our German whole wheat bread is absolutely killer. You've got a lot of fiber, a lot of protein, you've got seeds in it, nuts in it, but this is okay. And Vicky and I, we like to enjoy it occasionally with a little bit of hummus, avocado, broccoli, and this week with a lot of smoothies as we want to make a smoothie week. Then I've got vanilla. This is actually a shame that I'm showing this because it's from a company which is absolutely horrible. But I needed vanilla desperately this week and all the other vanilla products are so, so expensive. So I took this one, but shame on me that I even support them, even if it only costs 40 cents, but yes. Then I've bought Simply V. This is vegan cheese. I love this cheese, or we actually love this cheese. It doesn't taste cheesy, but it tastes... Well, how does it taste, actually? It tastes... Um, I like it. Let's put it that way. And then fried onions. I also haven't bought them for a while. You usually find them in Asian supermarkets. They are also really, really unhealthy as they, were of, as they are made with a lot of oil. And um, of course they are fried as the name always says, but they are going to be extremely, extremely tasty in, I forgot why I bought them, but I know that I needed them 100% desperately for, let me look at my, at my meal plan for this week. I don't, oh yeah, I need them for the meatballs. Like add one to two uh, tea, tablespoons of fried onions to your meatballs or even to any dish. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely delicious. And then the last thing, Vicky loves them and I also do sometimes love them. Simply crisps. That's it guys. So this is our food haul for this week. I can't wait to eat. I'm really, really hungry now as I just came from the grocery shopping store. It's two o'clock now. I usually have lunch at one o'clock. So as you can imagine, I'm starving. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And otherwise, I hopefully see you next week. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful week. And whenever you're watching this video and I'll see you next week. Thanks for this video. Stay healthy with Luke.